Okay. Okay, you're recording. Please. Just go whenever. Uh, the time goes by 526. 526, thank you. All of us have roommates in here. Has your roommate done something to bother you? Have they taken advantage of your kindness? Your roommates, when they ask you to use your things, you pretty much have to say yes because you don't want to seem mean. It can be very irritating, but you have to keep to yourself. Personally, I find myself doing this purposely to my roommate, Paul. He, um, I know he gets very irritated about it. He gets very irritated about it, but when I'm bored, I might as well mess with him. Your roommate, I mean, everything would be great. College life is great. Living on campus is, you know, you're having a good time, but your roommate can make your experience horrible. This is my roommate. <clears throat> Paul asks himself probably every day, what's wrong with my roommate? There's many problems wrong with that. Personally, I'm a messy person, I admit that. Sometimes I have bad BO. I'm just kidding, I'm not here. But um, um, this is what you do. Like, he, what you can do with your roommate, prevent body odor, you either give him three dollars, go to the store, or you take them to the store and get it yourself. I mean, speed stick works good for me, so. Um, uh, with, the, with your roommate, you may notice your roommate, instead of keeping track of his last shower, he's plotting on how to play pranks, pranks on you. Uh, your roommate can make your college experience very painful. Funny pranks to play roommates. When I first came here, me, I was playing it's Joy you. Joyce is looking at me. It's uh, you? It's you. I'll you almost got hurt. He's <laughs> peanut butter on the door now. I'll explain it. At first when I came here, I started putting hand sanitizer on people's door knobs. I was doing it to Paul, and I moved down to Joyce's room. But it was it was ineffective because it was drying before they got to touch it. So but last week or so, I switched to peanut butter. And I've been putting peanut butter on their door like every couple nights or so. <laughs> and they had no idea it was me, which I thought was hilarious. And this is actually a picture of me putting peanut butter on Joyce's door now. You got a door. Another prank you can play on your roommate is um, while they're sleeping, you get a permanent marker and draw on their face. I, even if you try washing off the permanent marker, you can still see the shadow of it. So it's pretty funny that they walk around campus like that. Um, also, also when your roommate goes to the shower, just creep into the bathroom grab his keys, his clothes, and leave them there. And how can he get back to the room? They have to wait for you to give them their clothes back or somebody to come help them. Um, I'm going to pop up a video here because it wasn't working on there. There was a video of me stealing Paul's clothes. Hi, I'm out there running to the bathroom to steal all of Paul's clothes and leave him naked. How he gets back to the room is his problem. It's Yeah, that was my roommate. He was in the shower. I had to sneak in there and play prank on him. Um, with your roommate making your life miserable with these pranks, you might also notice that he's still irritating you by invading your space. Your roommate might like to use your things. Even the simple things irritate you. Using the TV. My roommate doesn't have, like mine, and I use the TV, but other, other roommates may. Um, hair gel, shampoo, computers, movies. I use his computer all the time, even though I have my own. If I'm laying on his bed, I'll use his computer. Why I'm laying on his bed, I have no idea. Um, yeah, it's a picture of me using his hair gel when he's out there. And my roommate, he, he's thin. He has Chef Boyardee hidden under his bed in a crate. So last week, we were running low on food. So while I wasn't there, I snuck into underneath his bed into his crate and ate some Chef Boyardee. Um, also, Continuing to evade your space, so your roommate may think the entire room belongs to him. Throwing his trash on the floor, it's called trash. Also, let the trash go to the ceiling. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one one week we had a competition to see how high we could stack the trash at. Uh, also, another big no-no is when your your roommate's sleeping and you steal his phone. Paul stole my phone while I was sleeping one night and took those pictures of my phone. I didn't remember. <laughs> Yeah, they're kind of weird. There was other ones of with his nipple hanging out and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, was really, it was really weird. 
But um, I didn't notice until like the week and a half, a half later, and I noticed two years ago where you probably started my project. Um, and my, like, uh, my experience at Ryder has been, oh, it's been pretty good with my roommate, but others it may not have been. Um, my first day at Ryder, I noticed that I made a big mistake. I choose my roommate right after me and my new closest friend, Anton, and I have another video for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I knew which one it is. Also participated in the talent show. If any of you guys went, he sang there. Yeah, yeah. He's great. He sang for us. He sang for us the first day of school. And that's it. It's usually not for me. I was very nervous this time for some reason. Everybody was stressing me out because of comedy.